Hey guys! So I'm getting started making my taco lasagna recipe. Um, it's in the middle of the, of the afternoon. I'm just doing the prep work right now and then I'm just going to keep it in the fridge until I'm ready to bake it. Um, but so the first step is to cook the lasagna noodles just according to the instructions on the package and, um, and brown the beef. So I've got water boiling on the stove waiting to do the beef. While I wait for the water to boil, I'm just going to let you guys know. Um, I found this recipe on food.com. I'm going to put the exact link in the description box so you guys can find it too. Um, the recipe that's listed there is um, for two pans, and I only wanted to make one, so I just have the recipe. Um, but I got all the ingredients for this at Shaw's for right around $20, um, and it makes eight servings, so that comes out to around $2.50 per serving, which isn't bad. Um, so... I'm going to get started on browning the beef while I wait for the water to boil, and I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, so my beef is browned and the grease is drained, so I'm just going to go ahead and season the beef with this taco mix um, that I have and throw in a three quarters of a cup of water like the package calls for. That's all done. My water finally just started boiling for the noodles. So I'm going to put those in and cook them. And when that's all done, I'll check back with you guys and let you know what's next. So the noodles are done boiling. I actually have them laid out on a pan just to make them easier to get to when I'm putting them in lasagna. Um, and I have my beef that's seasoned with the taco seasoning. I have salsa, which is going to be one of the layers, um, taco shredded cheese, and then this is ricotta cheese, which I mixed into egg whites with, so I'm all ready to start making the lasagna part. Um, grab my recipe. Um, so the first layer, the first thing I'm supposed to do is layer four lasagna noodles. Um, which I'm doing with tongs because they just came out of the boiling water. They're really hot still. So. I'm actually only three fifths, so I guess I'm doing three. Um, so we've got that, and then I'm supposed to, on top of that, do three quarters of a cup of the ricotta mixture, which is this stuff. I'm going to a measuring cup for that one. I'm just going to spoon it into my measuring cup. This actually is a half cup, but it has a little quarter cup mark in there too, so it's pretty helpful. Um, spread it out. And then all of the beef mixture goes in. I forgot to mention this is a 13 by 9 by 2 pan um, that I'm putting this into. I'm just spreading it out, layering it evenly. So there's all the beef mixture. Uh, and then one and a third cups of shredded cheese goes on top of that. And on top of that goes more noodles. And 
And then another three quarters of a cup of the ricotta cheese. Um, one and a half cups of salsa, which is basically just half the jar. I'm not even going to measure it. Um, if I, can, if I don't feel as bad because my boyfriend had trouble opening it too. Um, by the way, the recipe calls for mild salsa, but we kind of like things a little spicier in this house, so I got medium. Um, so it's not too much, but it's a little spicy. And then another one and one third cup of shredded cheese. And then the next step is just to repeat that whole layer, the four noodles, three quarters cup of cottage cheese, which is the rest of the cottage cheese, the rest of the salsa, and the rest of the shredded cheese right on top. So now at this point it's ready to go into the oven, but like I said, I'm going to be cooking this later, so I'm just going to cover it and put it in the fridge, and when I'm ready to cook it, I will be back. Hey everybody, so it's a couple hours later and um, it's time to put the lasagna in the oven. So the oven's preheated to 350 degrees and I'm going to throw it in there for about 35 to 45 minutes. Um, basically until it's all warmed up and the cheese on top is all melty and everything. I have some garlic bread cooking in my bread machine, so I'm pretty excited for that. And um, in about like 45 minutes, we'll be eating and see how it tastes. So it's been 45 minutes, and the lasagna should be done. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the oven and see how it looks. I wish you could smell it. So the taco lasagna was a hit. Um, I didn't record the taste test just because I feel like dinner time is family time and I didn't want to intrude on our family time by having a camera at the table. So um, I decided I'm not going to record the taste test, but what I'll do is I'll just tell you guys how it went. Um, everybody loved it. It was so good. Um, we even wanted to have it, the leftovers, we had them for lunch the next two days because we were so obsessed with how delicious this lasagna was. So I definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, the recipe is in the description box, so you can always go ahead and click over there and try it and tell me what you think. Bye!